How's it going guys? Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel here. I'm going to run the Beta and the Sherco up this single track trail. And the Beta, I have set the power valve to the exact specification. This is exactly how it came right out of the box. I have not adjusted the power valve for this ride um, and just taken it up this trail. And the, it just, it's really rideable. It's rideable power, but there isn't a ton of that power there. And it's going to suffer a little bit. Let's see what happens here. Second gear. I set it right there. I'm in second gear. That's how I like to climb a lot of these things. To keep a little bit, a little bit more momentum and a little bit more speed and get good traction. And that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't like to punch down into first gear unless I have to on a loose uh, climb like this. Um, so I'd like to keep that momentum up. And they're just in the stock form on this bike. There just wasn't quite enough power. Every time I would roll on the throttle in second gear, I just wasn't having that power kind of open up on me and give me the confidence that I, that I need. Punch down into first. Based on what the bike was giving me, I did need to punch down into first. And that's because I know this trail very well. I've done this trail probably a dozen or two dozen times, this exact section. Um, and the other thing too is the front fork. I've played with this a number of times. I've done clickers this way, clickers that way. I've never actually gotten to the point where I felt like the front fork, well, like I knew what the tire was gonna do, whether it was gonna deflect this way or that way and I've just not gotten comfortable with it. On all of the other bikes that I've tested, I've been able to kind of find a happy spot on that front fork, and I haven't yet found that happy spot on, on this Beta uh, fork here. So I just timed that, and it was a minute and 49 seconds to get up that. So let's go ahead and see how I fare over on the Sherco. Another thing to point out is just testing hours, engine hours. I've got approximately twice as many hours on the Beta in a short amount of time as I do on the uh, Sherco. Okay, swapped over to the Sherco to do that same exact section of trail. The Sherco feels like a full-sized bike, whereas it makes that the Beta feels more like a not a three-quarter size bike, but like seven-eighths of the size of, of this one. This one I like first gear a ton better. Did you hear what I said there? I actually like the higher gearing of the Sherco better. It, it just allows me to carry more momentum and more speed. Second gear, I like better seaters. There's definitely enough power to grunt up this thing in second gear. Because when I twist the throttle in second gear on this one, something happens and it's that it pulls me it pulls me through this is the trickiest section right here i stayed in second gear whoa dude Keep in mind that this test was done with both bikes in their stock form except for me jetting the carburetors, leaning them out, and also setting the sag on the bikes and then adjusting the clickers uh, to suit my riding style on the uh, forks. The forks on this Sherco are handling the chop and the rocks on the roots much better than the Beta. And the power, I prefer the Sherco a great deal over the Beta. And I'm able to go up that trail much faster. Stopwatch doesn't lie, guys. I'm faster on the Sherco, and that's, it's six seconds. I mean, it's not like a million miles an hour faster, but I'm just more comfortable on the Sherco because of that higher gearing and because of the way those forks work. With more, more speed, more confidence, more everything. Wow. Hands down, I give the edge to this bike. 
I like the power delivery better. I like that it has more power, it has more low end grunt. I can stay in second gear, keep more momentum, get up the trail faster. And geez, that was just, that was just crazy. Keep in mind guys, I don't get paid by any company to say anything. I speak my mind and I give my opinions of how I feel when I'm on the bikes. Sam's gonna have a little bit different opinion here. Let's see what he had to say. Okay, I, I've talked enough. Sam, tell me what you thought. You've ridden both bikes up this trail. You know what's funny is, I actually felt this deflected less than that. Really? Yeah. So we so we disagree on that. I felt like I was much more planted on this one. I. Planet's probably, yeah, I, the reason why I felt better on that one is because I can stand up on it better. But for a situation like that, I felt like this, I felt like it was okay. Good. Well, at least, at least somebody liked it because I liked this bike twice as much. I think the harder you push it, the worse it gets though, where the harder you push that one, the better it gets. Yeah, so what I did is on, on that, on, on when I took the beta up the hill, I seriously didn't feel like I had enough power to pull second gear in some of those places. And so I was clicking into first, and I don't like how low the first gear is. And sure, it crawls over everything in first. I, this, this one would crawl over in first. This one, I didn't use first gear because there's enough power here to pull me in second, and I'm going at least 50% faster on this bike because I'm in that higher gear and there's enough grunt and power to pull it. And so I, dude. So obviously that's me talking in the moment. I'm not 50% faster on the Sherco, but I'm probably 10% faster according to the stopwatch. You'd have to. <laughs> yeah, I had to ride this one. I rode in second gear and shift down and shifted up a bunch on it. Um, but I had to push it really hard in, in second gear where it wasn't comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I get that. But with this one, it's like, yeah, first gear is you can't get enough grip. There's too much, too much power to the wheel. So you have to go in second gear. What Sam is talking about and what I'm talking about is a phenomenon when you were in first gear on a really low geared bike on a loose hill climb, you get so much power to the rear wheel that you lose traction and so by shifting up into second gear you can drop the rpms down and then you can actually get that traction and get better momentum and make it up the hill easier in a higher gear um but as far as suspension concerns i felt like that was our first time going up it too just want to clarify that's our first time today sam has done that trail at least a dozen times so maybe i was better the second time on this you know because obviously i yeah. did it again but I will tell you this though, like I went up it slower than I did on that one. I went up it so much faster on this bike. And a lot of it is just because I can stand up on it better and I don't feel like I'm hunched over. Yeah, you definitely, this bike makes you feel immediately like it's a full size bike. Whereas every time I get on that one, I feel like it's like seven eighths the size. It's, it's bigger than three quarters but it's just not and and that's that's good for some guys i mean that's why some guys love the beta is it just they feel like it's made for a little bit shorter person yeah and i could totally see how guys could like that yeah i enjoy it being because it's different but it isn't better like and i'm not faster at all when i'm on this bike it it's begging me to push it faster this one is going we could go faster if you really need to but do you really want to go faster that's what this bike is saying to me whereas this one's like like Give it hell. Let's go. Yeah, the faster you go on that one, the better it works. That's 100%.